subscriber giveaway. One of the prizes. This little stove. I like this little stove. And uh, so we're going to do a quick demo on it. It is the Heikman. Meth stove. Put a drop of meth in it. Right. Here's a quick one for you. Light in your meth stove. Find yourself a stick, store your twig. Think about this beforehand. All right, a little bit of meths on your twig. Light the meths on your twig. Place it into your mess stove. Meths burns with an invisible flame, okay? So, you won't see it, because it's invisible, obviously. Ah, what a bit Pirates of the Caribbean there. Eh? Right, let's get a brawn. Not enough. Let's have a little bit more in there. Always carry plenty of water. If we're going out for the day, carry two of these bottles. One's never enough. And I always rather a little bit of weight, a little bit extra water than not enough. That is 700 mils of water in there. And a little camp stove. watching that for a second. Well, because it's cold and damp, it's taking a little, well, a little while, a couple of minutes for that to come up to bloom. Now it's at bloom. And the bloom is, once the actual pot's generated enough heat from the meths burning inside it, it vaporises the meth in the two walls of the stove. That turns that into a gas. That comes up, it forms jets or a bloom, and that, that becomes your cooking heat. Do they give off a huge amount of heat? Not enough to warm my hands by. Yeah. Um, that's about it. But it's a stove. It centralises the heat on the bottom of the pot and gets it going. And these are a brilliant little kit. Hence, I'm going to do it in the giveaway. And the reason I'm making a brew on it is to demonstrate it does work. I'm not giving away a piece of rubbish. Um, I'm giving away something that I like. I think sufficient. It does the job. So one of you will get this. And uh, one of you will get the other cook set. Great little bit of kit. Um, and it's small. It packs away into the little bag and go in the bottom of your kit. Um, you can either fill it with meths before you go out or you can go on Amazon and pick yourself up one of these. Keep that full of meths that it's actually what it's designed for as a fuel bottle. Um, makes it a lot safer, a lot easier to carry and obviously if anything ever happens to you, anybody seeing that is going to know it's a flammable fluid. That's the little Heikman stove. The bottoms of it. Don't know if you can see the, the flame. Up there. It works very, very well. 700 mils of water. Cup. Full kit. and quiet. I do like the silence of the woods. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> Slightly put off. That's yes, like the silence of the woods. Um, yeah. Been partially deaf, suffering with tinnitus as well. Yeah. The the hum of the woods, the background whistle that I've permanently got in my ears. <laughs> but it is quite pleasant. You get the old car in the background. Um, so again, the bushcraft camp is going to be up here uh, in this nice little woodland. It's going to be in April, May time. Um, we're going to do that in the um, obviously once the weather sorts itself out. So it'll be a, a meet up locally on the Saturday. What we'll probably do is arrange to meet those that are coming up uh, at a pub or something like that. Or if people can't make it by vehicle and they want to come up by train I can always arrange to pick up a couple of people from um, Farnham Railway Station is probably the nearest um, so I can pick you up from Farnham or even Farnborough on my way through and drop you back there on the way out on the Sunday um, but we, we, will, we will sort that out for people one way or another um, and we'll get up here we'll meet up on the Saturday come up uh, get you sorted out, get your, get your shelters up and uh, we'll have an overnighter up here we'll get the fire pit going um, see if we can encourage Jason to doing some scoff for us and we'll, we'll have a, a nice weekend meet up um, nothing major, it's going to be a nice relaxing one people can share and trade skills, have a natter, get to know one another and hopefully make it a nice social weekender alright guys, that's me there you go, Heikman's stove, the little stove that could. It's pouring in some water for us. Exactly the sort of situations I'm talking about. This is heat, pull that straight into that one. A friend that's working up in the woods here today, fixing one of the Land Rovers for the Surrey 4x4 tours. And He's been working over there. It's cold, damp. He's just finishing off. So I made him a nice cup of coffee. Made myself a nice cup of coffee because we're looking at finishing off today. And a little hype in the stove has done its job. You can see, quite a nice little flame on that. Give it off a little bit of heat. I'll leave that running just in case he wants to warm his hands. And then we'll shut down and toot the lock. And that's the Heitman stove, that's one of my giveaways. Complete with the little cook set or the little um, cooker that comes with. Some mess stove sits inside that. You've got a simmer ring with it. So, what you can do with that, do I do it one handed? So, you can take the simmer ring. Put the simmering on like that and reduce the flame. That also acts as a snuffer. So you can put that over, hold it safely to one side, put it over there, snuff the flame out. Gives up quite a bit of heat. Does the job. Does everything sizzle. No, that's been me. That's been Mick from Hampshire Outdoors of Survival on a slightly damp, chilly afternoon. Hopefully you're all good wherever you are. Hope you're having a great time. That's the little stove. A couple of brews on. It's all good with me. Hope it's all good with you. Look forward to doing some more videos um, shortly. One I'm going to be doing um, in the next week or two will be based on bags and carrying systems and what I use. Um, because I've recently acquired a British issue military bag that's uh, a real game changer in my book. 
Um, I've got a couple of small bags. I don't. I've got a 120 litre long bag. Yeah, it's, it's great if I'm going away for a period of time, but if I'm just doing a day out, it's a little bit big. I got a couple of small bags that I just use for single events, walking and so on. That'll pack all my kit in. But I've also uh, come across recently a, a very, very, very nice mid-range pack. Um, it's a British Army issue pack. It's actually the Medics patch pack, and the way it it folds out and the way the the pockets work in it are absolutely superb for me so i'll do a review on my bags in the next week or two um, and show you what i carry in them why i carry the bags and what i think's good and bad about them other than that guys this has been hampshire outdoors and survival i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are i hope you've enjoyed the video um not everything is a success sometimes it's a fail but we learn by those fails don't we um, please like and subscribe, please share and please make a comment, especially if you're after something in the 500 subscriber giveaway. Anyhow, this is Mick, got to get on with my brew. Have fun, Mickey out.